What's up you guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to turn your factory radio into a full Android uh, system. It's gonna be freaking awesome. So looking right over here, as you guys can tell, I have right here Netflix, uh, Google, YouTube, Spotify, and many other features on here. So the cool thing about this is while you're driving, that's why I'm driving to show you guys, you still can uh, look at things. So let's go ahead and check out CBI's new video right here. So you're gonna notice, you can still watch it, you can hear it. For another product walk around video. That's freaking awesome. So as you can tell, we're driving, we're watching this. So if you guys ever do for long road trips or anything like that, I'm not gonna lie, this is probably a little illegal, but it still works. But if you guys do go on long road trips and you guys wanna watch movies on the way, this is the way to do it. Another thing, if you guys are maybe at work on your lunchtime or something like that, this is another cool feature that you guys can come hang out in your car and watch some movies during lunch. So let's go ahead and now get into the video and show you guys how I did it. So as you guys can tell, there's a bunch of features on here. There's a Play Store. This turns it into a Android system. So you got YouTube Music, you got Google, Spotify, Netflix, any other features uh, that you can think of to download, you can. It's freaking awesome. I'm gonna show you exactly what this unit is. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit more. But checking it out, I mean, here's the CBI off-road uh, video one more time, just so you guys can see. And then you guys can skip through it just like normal, like if you guys were on your phone or anything like that. You can even surf the web, so hit Google and search whatever you want. So let's go ahead and show you guys what it is exactly. So what I have right here is gonna be a uh, Qualcomm uh, Android system unit. Uh, cool thing about this, it's really simple to install and like I showed you guys, it unlocks a lot of features into your factory radio. So that way you guys don't have to switch it out for a different type of radio. So let me open it up and show you guys. So it is a small little box that you have to connect. If your guys' vehicle does have a USB port, uh, that's kind of what it uses to power up. So inside the box, it's gonna come with the user manual. You wanna read this just so that way you guys kind of get a little familiar with it. I haven't fully read it, so I can't explain too much on it. I just know the features are freaking awesome. And then what I have right here is gonna be the actual box. That's a good size. Uh, the way I'm gonna be placing it is I'm gonna be placing it right under here with some double-sided sticky tape right in the middle just so it's out of the way. Uh, inside right here, you're gonna notice it does come with two wires. So one of them is gonna be a USB-C to USB, which is the one I'm gonna be using. And then inside there's also a USB-C to USB-C, depending, I guess, on your vehicle. Looking back right over here, I'm gonna peel this off because I'm not gonna use it, but it has three different ports. So this first one here, you can actually get a SIM card from your wireless provider. So you can insert it and cool thing with that is it's kind of like an extra phone line, I guess you can say, because uh, now you'll have full access to GPS, you'll have full access to all the internet, you'll have access to everything. Uh, now, if you guys don't want to purchase that from your phone line provider, then you guys can use your personal hotspot. That's the way I use mine, but I'm just telling you guys, you guys have that feature, and I thought that was pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and find out, see how much that will cost me, and maybe down the road I'll buy it, but for now, I'm using my personal hotspot to power this bad boy up. Uh, the next thing right here in the middle, that's going to be the power source. That's where you connect your cord that comes provided, your USB-C. So you want to make sure it's fully inserted or else this won't work properly. Properly. And then on the next one here, you actually do have for a uh, micro SD card, which is what I have right here. So this one is, of course, something you have to buy separately, uh, but they're actually really affordable. Uh, if you guys need the link, send me a message and I'll give you the link to this one. It was actually really cheap. Uh, so I'm going to insert that right now and I'll show you guys how easy it really is. All you do is you literally grab it. All right, you guys, so now it's fully inserted. So with this, if I'm not mistaken, uh, that just allows you to save more files onto this modem. I believe it does have space to save a couple apps, but this will allow you to save more stuff, probably like music or videos, I'm assuming. So let's go ahead and now connect it and I'll show you guys. So looking right over here, at least on the Tacomas, uh, there's gonna be a little USB port. You wanna go ahead and open that up. It should just connect. So let's go. So looking right here, uh, this is what I showed you guys previously. You guys have everything, uh, maps. For me, I don't have maps on my, uh, on my actual radio unit. So it's cool now that I have it on here. I know 
know my car does have CarPlay because it is a newer Tacoma, which is a 2020, but I didn't get the map feature from the factory and I guess that's a factory option only. So it's cool now that I can use it right here in hand. Right, so of course, I mean, and there's a lot of other things you can download. Thing I did want to let you guys know, just in case you guys do purchase that extra phone line that goes into this, uh, it's probably best to get an extension for this line. Reason why is because there's a little antenna in here. So the higher you hold it up, the better the signal is going to be. So you can probably hang it up on top somewhere on your dashboard or something like that. But like I said, for me, I'm going to be putting it right here. The way I'm going to do that is by using some double-sided tape. The reason I'm facing it this way is so that way I have access to all the cards. And of course, like I said, if I ever do end up getting the uh, one for the phone line, I can connect it there. All right, so now firm pressure. So we're good to go. So as you can tell, it's super small, it's out of the way, so it's not gonna bother me there. Uh, and there it is, you guys. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, I know it was super quick, but I wanted to give you guys the cool little heads up on how awesome that feature is. If you guys do wanna go ahead and end up purchasing this little Android unit to connect to your factory radio, make sure to check out the description box below because I've linked it there. So hopefully I see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to like this video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.